Hey there, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Sunday Wrestling Series. As you can see on your screen today, we're opening our Pro Wrestling Crate. This is a every other month uh, wrestling memorabilia subscription box from the folks at Pro Wrestling Tees and One Hour Tees. Um, so I pay for the extended size version, so it's like 50 ish dollars i think every two months and you get nine items we'll count them as they come out i think it's nine items uh two shirts an autographed picture and then five or six other things each or every other month it used to be a monthly box um with one less item and a little bit lower cost uh but they basically couldn't keep up the quality going every month and uh, so they switched to a bi-monthly model to, uh, I'm trying to not lift the box too high. My address is on the bottom of the box from shipping. Um, so they went to an every other month sort of box. In fact, I'm going, yeah, no, we'll, we'll do this. Um, this month is tag team edition. Um, all of the things that are in the box are on the other side of this card. So we won't flip it over until the end. As you can see, this is the May Crate. The July one will feature John Moxley, Mick Foley, Penta El Zero, and five other amazing wrestlers. Um, but this is the Tag Team Edition, so we'll see what kind of t-shirts and autographs and other fun little things that we can find um, are in this box. Uh, if you've been subscribed and a friend of the channel for a while, you know that I wasn't a huge fan of the shift to bi-monthly. Not because of the quality of things, but because um, they charged everybody's credit card before you got the final monthly box. And then whenever it renewed, so the first one was in March of them switching to a bi-monthly thing. By the before you could before we received the March box, they had already charged us for this May box, and then again this month I forgot to cancel it. Uh, before this May box arrived, they charged me for the July box. So um, I'll have to remember to go in and cancel that and just choose which boxes I want to order. Thankfully, I'm a John Moxley and McFoley fan, so I'm not too upset about the July box, depending on what's in here. Um, but overall, the quality is usually pretty good. We'll check out this first. Um, shirt. Looks like it's going to be a double-sided print. There's the, um, let's see if I can adjust the, the lighting and the camera are not working well. That It's not that bright. It's just a white skull with pink heart. Uh, the camera is making it look blown out because of the lighting. Um, but it is a nice heart foundation shirt. So we'll see if I can get more of it in the frame heart foundation pretty nice shirt I wouldn't probably wear the design with the skull on it like that um, but I can see why people would like it um, so yeah heart foundation is the first tag team out of the box let's see what the second shirt is, because that's on top. Out of this world wrestling along the top. Living Legends FTR. So this is a pretty cool design too. I like this design. Not a huge fan of FTR. Um, but a pretty cool design. I, I will say, since they went to bi-monthly, the shirt designs overall as designs have gotten better in my opinion. Um, again, I wouldn't probably wear this specific shirt, but I like the design of it. Uh, I wouldn't wear it because of FTR, not because of the design. Um, and I don't necessarily have anything against those guys. They're just not, uh, any of my favorite tag teams. So I don't really have a desire to wear their merch, but anyways, uh, let's get into whatever's next. We have a micro brawler of Robert Gibson from the Rock and Roll Express. We'll see if we can get this card back in there. A 
Rock and Roll Express Robert Gibson Micro Brawler. We'll see who the other Micro Brawler is. It is, of course, Ricky Morton from the Rock and Roll Express. Makes sense that they would be together here. Nice pair there. Usually, um, if you were buying this box, and I've, I've subscribed to Pro Wrestling Crate for over a year, over a year of monthly boxes, and now three of the bi-monthly. Um, so I have a pretty good experience with the value of how these things sell. Um, I would guess that each of those shirts would probably sell in the neighborhood of 12 to $15. These two micro brawlers probably lot them together and sell them. Uh, I would guess that you could probably get, and I, and I probably will sell them, um, probably get in the neighborhood of $10 plus shipping for that pair. Um, so again, like cool things, but not necessarily a tag team that I'm super interested in. We've got a Young Bucks pin. Pretty cool little design for a lapel pin there. Nothing on the back. These are, at least the micro brawlers and usually the pins, are available in um, short printed chase variations. I've gotten short printed or the, the chase variant of the micro brawlers before. I got a Ric Flair one. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten the chase on a pin, but... They are available in these boxes. So a pretty cool little Young Bucks pin there. I think we have a pair of socks next. We do. Oh, the Nasty Boys socks. Pretty cool there. The unfortunate thing about these, um, since I plan to resell them, I don't like to open this bag just so that I can, in confidence, say that it's never been opened and it's brand new. Um, but with the packaging the way that it is, you don't get to see the other uh, nasty boy, but, uh, you can kind of tell that it's a green sock and a white and a uh, pink sock, uh, of the nasty boys for tag team edition pro wrestling crate. Next up, there is a poster. Nope. It's not a poster. It's a flag of, uh, I'm assuming that that's going to be the Hardys. Although, uh, I might wait and check the um, cheat sheet once we find the autograph. We do have a poster in here. And then I'll pull out the autograph pictures as well. Um, I don't want to open that flag if it's not somebody I'm interested in. Um, but if it's the Hardys, I will be interested in it. So we've got a Los Guerreros, Eddie and Chavo poster here. Pretty cool, like airbrush effect. There's the signature for Los Guerreros Familia. Uh, pretty cool little poster. I like that. That's something that I would probably keep if I had a place to put it, to hang it. I'd, um, prefer jerseys and things on the wall than posters. But uh, that's a pretty cool one. I might I might still hang on to it. We'll see. Um, rest in peace, Eddie, obviously. Set that safely to the side. We'll check out the autograph or autographs. There might be two pictures or it might be one picture signed by the full tag team. We'll see. I'm trying to get into the envelope. Looks like it's just one of the full tag team. And it is the best friends. So there it is. Nice pair of autographs there from the AEW best friends tag team. Get the tripod set back up correctly. So and I'm going to check the cheat sheet here. So we got the forever double-sided heart foundation t-shirt we got the best in the universe ftr shirt we got the two micro brawlers and there are chases available as well as with the pin which we did not get any of those chases uh best friends autographed eight by ten so apparently that's the last one that the best friends did together uh now that they're not together as a tag team anymore i don't, I don't really watch aew a whole lot just bits and pieces 
Um, and so I've kind of sort of kept up on Twitter with that storyline, but not well. It is a Hardy's flag, so I will open it and show it to you. Uh, Nasty Boys, Super Kick Socks, we saw those, and the Los Guerreros poster. Plus, they'll email me a 20% off coupon to ProWrestlingTees.com. Let's push the box back a little bit. We'll open up this Hardy's flag. I will be keeping it. Um, I was just a little bit uncertain because I don't remember Jeff having a beard that looks like that. Um, so wispy like that, but we'll check it out. See what the Hardy Boys flag looks like. See if we can get it unfolded here. I'm going to move the best friend signed picture to the side. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get all of this into the frame. I'm going to do my best. Just lay it over top of some of the cards that I have here from uh, this weekend's videos. Got the table cleaned up pretty well and then created more content. So a nice, I don't know, probably said on the sheet, four by three, two by three uh, flag there of the Hardys. Older picture, but we'll certainly take that. There's their logo there on the side. Of course, the Hardys blazoned across the top or <laughs> across the front. Um, pretty cool little flag. I like that. We'll certainly take that. And uh, that'll do it for today's video. Um, I I know last week I said that it would probably be AEW content, uh, which it was a lot of AEW superstars tag teams in the video. But... Uh, not any cards today. I uh, honestly forgot that this was coming in and wanted to get it opened for you. But um, that'll do it for today's video. Next week will be not sure exactly. I have I now have um, several retail boxes of the new 2023 Panini Chronicles WWE. Um set we opened hobby boxes or a hobby box last week and i've recorded videos of other hobby boxes to be posted to the channel uh in the future uh the hobby box a hobby box video of chronicles will not be next week next week will either be retail chronicles or an aew um hobby box of spectrum uh which we've had here on the channel before um Again, and as always, unless I go to some event and record content at the event over the next week or so, um, then those always come out immediately and card videos get pushed back a little bit. But all that to say, that'll do it for today's video. Tomorrow here on the channel, I'll have a video of most likely Donruss Optic Football. Um, could also be Select Basketball. Not quite sure yet, but one of those two tomorrow. Probably a bonus video this week as well, since there's been several new releases in the last week. <coughs> and um, yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for checking it out. I've said that several times, but I really do appreciate it. I, I really do also appreciate everybody that leaves likes, comments on the videos. And if you're subscribed, we recently crossed 100 subscribers, I think since the last time that I recorded one of these videos. Not quite sure. Uh, but it was very recently. So we're on the road to 1,000 now. And at 1,000, um, I start getting credit for the ads that you have to watch before my videos. So looking forward to that day. But uh, that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon.